Hello everybody, Assassinated here from Be About It Auto bringing you another vlog on Project Del Sol. Alright, so the next part that I picked up is uh, kind of like the one that I have in my trunk. Let me go back and show you that one just in case you missed that episode or vlog. That bar right there increases rigidity here, uh, strut tower, strut tower, and then back to some mounting points to uh, increase the rigidity side to side, front to back right there. Close that down. And the new part that I have, or that I picked up, right here, this bag, uh, made by NRG. This one will go on the front, which I will show you real soon. Got a couple mounting holes right here. Mounting holes here in the back. I don't know why it has uh, the ones in the front and then the ones in the back. I believe they go in the ones in the back. So let's see right here what I can actually. Yep. Sounds like metal to me. All right. Try to get underneath here. I don't know if I'll be able to show you all that well. All right. So, if I had a cameraman, this would be so much easier. Oh, okay, there we go. Kinda got it stuck up there. Let's see if I can get a good angle, some good lighting. All right, let me get some lighting. Oh, there we go, focused. So you can kinda see the H brace is what it's called. Yeah, it stiffens from uh, these arms all the way across to these arms over here and then back to these mounting points which are right next to the sway bar. Now with this, it barely clears the header. As you can see, not very much clearance there. So if you end up using something like a Mugen header, uh, which is for all B-series, basically it has to be a header specifically for a B-16 and it might clear it. Anything else is gonna end up dropping down a little lower, therefore you will not be able to use this H-brace. Um, these are one of those things that when you first put it on your car, you don't probably feel a difference, but when you take it off your car after driving it for a while, that's when you'll feel everything loose. The rigidity just won't be there. So let's see if I get a different angle. Am I getting up? Okay, let's see here. So yeah, you can kind of see right there is where it mounts up. But yeah, that's pretty much uh, the gist of it. See if I can knock it down. Oh, you can see. Let's see if I can zoom in. I'm trying to find the right angle. But you can see the bolt right where it's supposed to mount right there, which is where the front lower control arm bolts to the chassis. There we go, drop it down. Once again, a uh, NRG product. NRG uh, known for their Quick release, steering wheel hubs, steering wheel seats, quite a few things. I think their website is get, G-E-T, N-R-G, N-R-G. So if you want to go check that out. But this is the end of the video. Uh, let me know what you think about this part. Have you had it installed on your car? Um, I do know that there's some other brands that make it. I don't know the fitment. Once again, these things are pretty tight. So if you do not get one made correctly, with the right dimensions, you are going to end up uh, either having to, I've, I've seen where people have had to uh, drill a new hole here or widen this one. So if you don't wanna to have to do that, make sure to get one from a reputable place like NRG or made by NRG from you know a distributor that does actually sell genuine NRG stuff. Um, I do know steering wheels are another thing like that. You want to make sure to get that right one. If you don't get the right one, uh, you get a cheap one. I've seen uh, YouTube videos where the steering wheel just came off. Um, but that's for another uh, episode when I explain more about steering wheels once I get my own steering wheel because I do plan to change that. But until then, let me know what you think about this one. Have you picked one up? What are your thoughts on it? Did I just waste my money? It wasn't that expensive, but still, do you think it was a waste of money or what? Until next time, Assassinator out.